Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So good day again, everyone. So today we will be discussing more. Um, we will be discussing about the square roots. Okay. So before we discuss square roots, okay, let's first discuss um the concept of exponents. Okay. So when we talk about exponents, we will have um two parts. Okay, we will have this one. Let's say we have this given. Okay. And this one is actually read as a raised to n. Sorry, that's raised to n. Or it could also be read as a to the power of n. Or um, in some special cases, if it is um, 2, it's read as squared. So this one will be read as for sorry. Like this this one will be read as a squared or if it is 3 then it's read as a cube okay so those are the different um ways of reading this one okay and of, of, of course we have two parts which is a raised to n we're in a magi uh, our value for a, I mean the term for our a is called the base and our n is called the exponent So why is it very important to um, tackle the exponents uh, before we go with the square roots? Because when it comes to the square roots and exponents, they are actually um, reverse operation. Just like when it comes to addition and subtraction, they are reverse. So for example, 6 plus 4. For me to undo 4, I need to subtract 4 and so on. So we retain 6 because this, um, this one cancels out each other. So that is the concept of... Um, the reverse operation okay so you can undo addition if you subtract okay and same goes with multiplication and division so this thing um the exponents and what we call the roots or the square roots okay are actually inverse operations okay so it's very important for us to understand this concept okay so say um let's have an example say we have um five squared okay so the answer of course for five squared uh, as we have learned before i mean if you have prior knowledge this would be just simply not multiplication of five times two that is incorrect but it's actually five times five so that is twice to itself okay so the answer here is just simply it's just simply 25 okay so that would be um our answer so what what we did here is we applied exponents on this and we arrive with 25 okay but on the other hand if we will be dealing about the roots then we will be dealing about the answer remember this is the question and this is the answer we will be given the answer pala okay and we need to get the question which is of course what number what number do we get okay if we get the root of 25 and to be specific we are dealing with the square root okay so what is this number what is this number of course we do know that it is five yes okay so um now let's proceed with square roots okay firstly when it comes to roots we are this is the question by the way. when it comes to roots what we are using the symbol that we are using is of course this um yeah, this one this symbol it's like a division sign but it's a little bit different okay so you can either have this little check here or of course you can have this like this okay so that is the square root symbol okay and um some mathematicians do call i know majority of the mathematicians do call this as either the root symbol or as i would like to call it is called the radical sign or it's called the root sign okay it's called the radical sign so meaning if you will be using this radical sign okay you are simply doing the reverse operation of the exponents okay so then again for me of course this is our problem now okay so for me to get this answer of a okay and if i will get the root of that one i need to apply the reverse operation of our exponent in our answer or this would be our question now okay so i need to get the square root of 25 okay and again square root by default will have a 2 here okay meaning i'm looking for a number that will have this a squared and i am just looking for the base here okay 
So when um, basically when you're looking for the square root of a number, okay, and um, you are looking looking for two numbers that when you multiply will be equals to twenty five. Okay, you are looking for two numbers that when you multiply will be equals to twenty five, and you're going to at least take one of that number. So for example, we have the square root of twenty five. We do know that twenty five. The factors of twenty five is simply five times five. Okay, and therefore giving us, of course, five squared. So twenty five is equal to five squared. So here in our given, we will have the square root of five squared. And then, of course, if you have a root here, and and then you have an exponent, these things are cancelled out. Remember that the exponents, exponents. Okay, and roots are actually reverse operation, meaning they cancel out each other. So if they would be the same, they will be cancelled out. And what will be left is 5, giving us the square root of 25 as equals to 5. Okay, so itong 2 dito, you will notice I am not writing it down because by default it's not written. Okay, so this would be the answer for the square root. Okay, another example, say we have... Um, 16 okay 16 and you're looking for the square root of 16 what could be that number so remember you are looking for two numbers when you multiply the answer is 16 but let's take a look at the first given you if you look at the first given okay you will notice that these two numbers are the same so that would be the property the special property of um, um, of our step is that you are looking for two same numbers when you multiply or a number when you multiply twice to itself the answer would be 16 so let's take a look at the factors of 16 we have 8 times 2 we have 4 times 4 and then we have 16 times 1 and 4 times 4 is the only given that will uh, the only factor that will provide you with that property the property of having a number multiplied twice to itself so it's 4 times 4 so the answer here is just simply 4 Okay, so another example, and this would be an easy one. Say we have um, 100. The square root of 100 is just simply 10. Why? Because the factors of 100 is 10 times 10. We have 25 times 2 uh, times 4. We have 20 times um, 5 and a lot more. We have 50 times 2 and so on. This is the only given that will provide you with a same number multiply a number multiplied twice to itself one two that will give you an answer of 100 okay and that's simply 10 okay you will just take a number that number the number 10 okay and that would be the answer but there is this special property when it comes to square roots and that would be called um i mean not, not necessarily a special property it's uh, more on the the principal and then the negative root. How can I call that? Um, the two the two possible answers for our square root. So, in the square roots, square root answers, answers. We have two. The very first one is called the principal root, and then the next one is actually called the negative. So it's actually quite easy. So for example, we have this one, the square root of 16. Okay. Of course, you know that the answer is 4. But you must also be um, aware that the answer for this one could actually be also negative 4. Because the factors of 16 is equal to negative 4 times negative 4 also. Okay. Taking one of that number, therefore, the answer could also be negative 4. So what? So meaning these two roots will actually exist at the same time. So this one being your principal root and this one being your negative root. Okay. So you will always have two answers. And of course, to make it simpler, the square root of 16 is just simply actually positive or negative 4. Okay. One can exist at a time lang. Hindi ka, you cannot nev You can never have positive 4 times negative 4 as your root okay so this would be your answer okay you have the plus and minus four and the plus will be of course called the principal root or is to simply put it this is the positive number and then we have the negative root I think negative number 
Okay? So that would be for the square root. So for example, we have another, say we have 25. The square root of 25 is simply positive 4 or negative 4. Or generally, it's positive, negative, I uh, sorry, it's not 4, why is it 4? It's 5. Okay? Or it could be, of course, you can either have positive or negative 5. And that would be the principal root. So you just keep in mind, class. Um, the principal root is a positive one, and then the negative root is the negative one. Okay. And then of course, um, for you to be easy, uh, for you to easily identify the square roots, let's just simply go to the square of numbers. And these are actually called the perfect square p numbers or the perfect square numbers. Perfect square numbers okay so sorry for the handwriting a little bit nagmamadali okay so the perfect square numbers are the following we have one squared the answer is one two squared the answer is four three squared the answer is um, nine four squared the answer is sixteen five squared the answer is twenty five six squared the answer is um, thirty six seven squared the answer is forty nine um, you have 8 squared, the answer is 64 9 squared, the answer is 81 10 squared, the answer is 100 11 squared, the answer is 121 and 12 squared, the answer is 144 okay, so these are perfect square numbers they are just simply multiplying the number twice itself this is 2 times 2, 3 times 3, 4 times 4 5 times 5, 6 times 6, and so on okay so perfect square numbers and why am i giving you this because these are just simply the answers to any square root that you will be given that will have a whole number of answers for example if i'm asking you what is the square root of 144 just know that the perfect square number for 144 is 12 squared and that is simply positive sorry and negative 12 the square root of 1 121 the answer is positive and negative 11 okay so these are your perfect square numbers they are um, specifically whole numbers okay and of course we will have our ira um, irrational um, square roots or ina irrational roots so we will deal with that on another video okay so this would be everything uh, I mean some of the things not everything that you need to know about square roots okay and um thank you for listening everyone if you have any other questions you can refer to the video again or you can ask me in our class okay so assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh thank you po